Here come the teams. Portsmouth in their change colours today. Looking for a win that could lift them above Tottenham into seventh place in the English Premier League. 18 years since he made his Watford debut, David James. The first of six matches in the Barclays English Premier League on this Easter Monday. The four teams still involved in Europe are given a day off. Priskin has given it away. And the shot is a good one. It's a beauty from Matthew Taylor. Well, he took his time. He sized it up. Terrible defending, it wasn't closed down, they must have thought it's on his wrong foot, his right foot. You know, he's usually used to these left foot blockbusters from 25, 30 yards. But there he was, no one near him, four yards outside the 18-yard uh, box, not closed down, and he bends it beautifully. Bends it almost better than Beckham. What a lovely curler. And the Luton boy, of course, which will irritate the... Watford supporters even more. Number seven, is it, John, or number eight? It's number eight for the season. Well, excellent return from a wide attacker. That's nice. Down he goes, referee says penalty. Watford have the chance of an equaliser. Thomas Priskin with a moment of skill, outboxing a defender, and it's a penalty kick. Very well, Priskin, and I think that was a rather silly challenge by uh, Traore. His right foot across. I don't think he got the ball. I think the referee's right. I don't think he got the ball. But it falls to the 21-year-old from Evry in France, Amar Bouatza, to fire Watford level. There is still some life in the Hornets. And, of course, David James... The ex Watford goalkeeper looking for a, a record number of clean sheets. And um, won't happen in this game because it didn't happen in the previous Easter game against Manchester United. It was a good penalty by Boatza, just holding his run just a shade or stroking it to the right of James who gambled into the other corner. Tells everyone how much he loves the club and the club badge. Now let's see if he can give us a good uh, 60 minutes on the wing. O'Neill. Oh! Well, they're repeating that was a back pass. What do you think, David? Well, if they gave the free kick there, it's virtually on the line, so <laughs> it would have been a very uh, humorous moment, I think. Uh, definitely no back pass, but um, here we see it again. He just comes in and he just, just stabs it. Does he intend that? Well... There is a case. Portsmouth will be very disappointed, having had the benefit of the early Taylor goal. They haven't moved on from there. They played with little confidence. They look slightly leggy in midfield and up front. They haven't had the service. And to be fair to Watford, they've come more into the game since the penalty. Let's ball in. James got enough of it. Gavin Mann! How about that for an equalising finish to the one shown by Taylor? It's the one that fires Watford in front of the game, having trailed, and it's the one that has lifted the roof on Vicarage Road. Taylor's goal was good, that was special. Wonderful half while they were just saying Watford coming into the game, they put more into it than Portsmouth since the goal. As James comes, he doesn't do anything particularly wrong with a punch, but maybe Martin wasn't close quick enough, but you have to give the goal scorer all the credit for that. He gets onto the half volley, strikes it beautifully, and David James will concede that he would have had no chance at all with that. That wasn't lucky, that was good. Very, very good. It's as good a goal as Watford have scored in the Premier League all season long. And it gives them a half-time lead. There's the whistle. Watford delight. And a real sting in the first half's tail. Gavin Mahn's goal. Nosing Watford in front for the first time. Matthew Taylor with a silky right-footed shot under no pressure at all. Had scored what looked like it was going to be the goal of the first half. After 16 minutes, Boatis' penalty made it 1-1 after 28. 
and then right at the end of the one additional minute, that rasping left-footed drive by Gavin Mahn makes it one for two, Portsmouth one. There's the man that's changed the mood here at Vicarage Road. Gavin Mahn with his first goal of the season blasted in from 20-plus yards with that left foot, and it's given Watford the lead against the Portsmouth side who had seized the initiative themselves with a 16th-minute goal from Matthew Taylor. So a much happier half-time interval at Vicarage Road than many this season. Remember, Watford have only won twice at home, three times in all. So Watford off in search of a fourth Barclays English Premier League win of the season. for Watford to inflict some more damage and the chance is accepted gleefully by Priskin for his first Barclays English Premier League goal and Watford have scored three for only the second time this season it was a fine goal the initial run down the left was excellent when the ball came in Priskin was perfectly placed at the back post and he celebrates with Marlon King the forward who's been sadly uh, reduced to a spectator this season because of injury. Here we see it, it was a deep break as they come out with the ball. Real good run there, very poor attempt by Palmer, but let's take nothing away from the ball in by Cabba with his left foot to the back post. No chance, David James, Triori out of position, Triskin worked harder to get into that position. has a chance here first and still has a chance and should have made it 3-2 goalkeeper doesn't gather case for a penalty there and it goes wide off Canu well, well Keystone Cops well the blood pressure was raised at last fantastic opportunity for Canu he was cool wanted to take that touch with his left foot there I think he should have scored he's got a clear shot Foster comes doesn't collect under pressure of bodies, referee says play on. And then there was the block on the line, vital block on the line by Mariapa. So Neil, who has the shot? Canu, Franchar, the challenge by Jada Merritt. This is Buanza. Damien Francis charging through. Priskin in support. Another chance. What confidence Priskin has been. I thought he was going to hit it first time, but uh, he wasn't right to do the dummy. I'm not suggesting that was the right thing. In the first place was an excellent run by Damien Francis to split the centre backs. That was the clever football. And again, just got blocked at the end. But um, I think Priskin's done well today. He's given Watson something different. It's a great ball, it's a great chance for four. Thwarted by the legs of David James. And here for Watford, it's a glorious opportunity which remains for four. Amur Buetza gets his second. And surely there's no way back for Portsmouth now. James with an unhappy return to his first club. Three at the back, Portsmouth, absolutely uncertain, no question of offside. Look at the casualness there, unusually a Linvoy Primus going back in, and really it's a it's absolutely really ridiculous defending. I just saw Pamaro just almost stand still there as the 1-2 was played. Just look at that. Well, they certainly miss Sol Campbell today, there's no question. This is a, quite an incredible result and terrific, terrific for that man, terrific for Buatza, terrific for the supporters who suffered so much this season. Nothing's gone right for them. From midfield, led the team. Here's O'Neill for Portsmouth. Good effort. 
What an introduction. 4-2. The ball there to hit. And Aidy Boothoid furious. Almost a slow motion goal, wasn't it? So O'Neill that did the initial work. And when he chipped that ball across, one touch and hit. That's what you call a substitution. Boetza! That far away from a hat trick. Fine volley. Certainly be inside next week, I think. Oh, Manchester, beautiful shot. Slips it dropped low enough to keep the ball down, and it's a nice shape. Uh, yes, Boetza is playing the role to the full. It takes a while to notice that the electronic board that everyone else has seen has got his number on it. A great inclination to run, but it's his best day in a Watford shirt. Two goals, very close on a couple of occasions to a hat trick, and a guiding light in Watford's fourth league win of the season. It's been a, a worthy performance by Watford today, a thoroughly deserved victory, particularly when they had to come from the goal behind and they started the game rather sluggish. Just about the biggest draw heard at Vicarage Road all season long. Hammer Biazza with two goals in Watford's 4-2 win. And this after they trailed to Matthew Taylor's opener. It won't make a difference to the outcome at the end of the season. Watford's name will still be the first to be confirmed as a relegated team, but it will happen a little later in the campaign than may have been likely. I know this video was good, so if you like this, you'll definitely like this one.